Guys, so I personally do use both Shopify as well as Hostinger in my own businesses. So in today's video, I'm going to compare both of these tools side by side to help you make a decision between them. Because it can be really hard, of course, once you one you have Shopify right here, this is probably the most common way of doing e-commerce. And on the other hand, you do have Hostinger, which actually has a really strong AI-based uh, website builder. So let's actually compare them. By the way, if you do want to go for any of these tools, I will leave your links down below. By using them, you can support me for completely free. Either way, let's first get started with Shopify. Now, Shopify is the go-to tool when it comes to e-commerce online. So right here, you are going to see that actually 10% of the total US e-commerce market is from Shopify alone, which is pretty mind-blowing. Now, when it comes to Shopify, you are basically going to get a great, intuitive, beginner-friendly platform, which is basically going to streamline your whole e-commerce store. So basically, Basically, this is going to begin with, um, let me actually open this up. Uh, Shopify, for example, does offer in-house Shopify payments, which is super useful if you're just starting out. They also seamlessly integrate with shipping providers like USPS, UPS. They also do have proper taxes and duties uh, right here, which you can add within one click and a lot more. So really, this is a super powerful all-in-one solution. Now, besides their core features, which you can see right here, you are then actually also going to get access to the Shopify App Store you can see this right here. So this is essentially just a way of basically integrating and connecting other apps onto your Shopify store. So for example, uh, you do have SendDrop right here, which is a great tool to streamline your Shopify success. I will leave you a link down below. This is a good private supplier for all sorts of different dropshipping products. However, you can actually also connect MailChimp to streamline your email marketing. You can add other, uh, other apps like SEO King. You can, for example, also add apps for or upsells. Let me show you this right here. So basically, this is going to be the go-to place when it comes to actually customizing your store further than the default settings right here. And then you are also going to have their great e-commerce templates. So actually they do offer 13 well-designed free templates, which you can all use. I think these work actually great if you're just starting out, uh, particularly like the Dawn theme right here, as well as the Sense theme. However, I think all of them are pretty good for their own use cases. And um, however, if you later on, for example, do want to get a more branded custom Shopify store, you can actually also go for one of their paid themes. And um, these are actually quite affordable given that you are going to get really good and really well-designed stores. So for example, this one right here is going to cost $140 and this is how it is then going to look like. Um, so basically with these branded stores, you are going to get a, a, a little bit more customized feeling to your store. But I also like the free ones and I think they are perfect to just start out essentially. Then on the other hand, you do have Hostinger. Now, Hostinger basically does have a super strong AI-based editor. So essentially, you can just create your own um, shop using AI. You can just put in how you do want to have your website and so on. Now, you can actually see some of the example sites right here on screen. So this is how it is going to look like. Um, now, I think it does look okay. Don't get me wrong. However, serious, it's nothing compared to Shopify. Shopify does have way better templates, in my opinion. And on Shopify, the whole product page is going to give you guys more customization options and a lot more. However, let's actually quickly look at the pricing for this. As you can see, this is going to cost, uh, basically this is going to start at $3.99 per month. And Shopify is actually going to cost you, let's actually open this up. It is going to cost you 24 euros for the cheapest plan. Now, by using my link down below, you can actually get your first month for just a dollar. Either way, after that, you will have to pay 24 bucks, which actually is quite a lot more than than hosting us. So really, you will have to take that into consideration when choosing between these tools. Now, in my opinion, if you do want to take e-commerce serious, there is no way around Shopify. Seriously, it's just the most powerful tool out there and also super easy to begin with. However, Hostinger actually is a pretty good option if you are on a budget and if you only want to spend $4 per month. I think this is actually going to give you guys decent features. Now, either way, I will leave you links to both tools down below. Make sure to just get free trials for both tools so that you can just try them out on your own. That's it. I will see you in the next